Good morning, everybody, and happy International Day of Yoga. Happy day after the summer solstice. And I can't believe this is our 16th Core and More class. Unbelievable. Uh, in honor of International Day of Yoga, start at the front of your mat. Let's just do one very slow sun salutation to warm up our bodies and also to really just have gratitude. Now bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. And start with making a dedication to yourself right now. Something that's really meaningful. Inhale, arms up to the sky. If you're just joining, we're doing one sun salutation in honor of International Day of Yoga. Exhale, fold forward into it, forward bend, bend your knees. Inhale, half lift. And then just step yourself back into a plank, high plank. Exhale to your knees, taking it easy, chest and chin. Sliding through, inhale up into a feel-good cobra. Exhale, shift into a downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, deep breath in, deep breath out. And then walk your feet to your hands. Exhale, fold into a forward bend. Slowly inhale, arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment. Think about the dedication that you made. Sit with that for a minute, literally. Come to a comfortable seat on your mat. And then once you get there, bring your arms up to the sky into a V. V for your own personal victory and victory for everybody else. Make two fists and your thumbs pointing toward each other. Moving into breath of fire. So it will be an inhale through your nose and then an exhale, pumping your belly. If you're pregnant, please don't do this. Just breathe normally. So it's an inhale, partial inhale, and then it's, you really uh, sniff out your nose, but it goes right into your gut. And then the inhale comes naturally. So here we go, 25 rounds. Inhale and begin. See if your thumbs can come together overhead. And then exhale, release your hands. Open your eyes if they were closed and make your way onto all fours. Inhaling, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine, a little bit of cow cat. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale round, and then inhale to a neutral spine. Lift your left arm up in front of you. Right leg up behind you, flex your foot. Now exhale your arm out to the left and your leg out to the right and hang out and breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Really press your right hand into the earth. Feel your core, and then inhale. Swing your leg and your arm forward and back. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, lower the hand, lower the leg. Other side, inhale, right arm, left leg, breathing. Exhale, out to the sides. Focus, breathe. Your breath carries you. You know, people are talking about breath in so many different ways today that the bottom line is that your breath activates prana. It makes things easier. Inhale, come back, front and back, and then exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower yourself down. Press yourself into child's pose for a quick moment. Breathe. And then inhale, come forward and step into a plank. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So another 25 rounds of Kapalabhati breathing. Here we go. 
Breathe in through your nose, that's breath of fire, and begin. Just meet us on the ground. Slowly come down. You're hovering. 
whoa, and you can just use a hand if you need to, hold on to your foot, breathe, deep breath in, exhale, sit down, straighten your legs, blocks by your side, L set, hands on those blocks, breathe in, lift up, slide your heels back, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, one more breath, deep breath in, exhale, come down, lay on your backs, oh, it feels good to be on your back, at least for me it does, okay, bring your knees up right over your hips, arms by your side, breathe in, lift up, take a look right in the center of your thighs, this is the core cultivation, arms are lifted, breathing, spine on the earth, exhale, open your legs straight. So probably by now, your legs are so much straighter than they were when we started this 16 classes ago. And breathe, hopefully it's in your core and not your back, breathing, deep breath in. But if it is, pull your legs back, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, two more, deep breath in, you can do it, deep breath out, one more breath, deep breath in, exhale, hug your knees, roll around a little bit, inhale, rock up, have a seat, straighten those legs out, you can move your blocks out of the way, moving into hip flexor triangles, let them be your best friend, sitting up tall, especially for my, my runner friends, people do a lot of sports, this is amazing, breathing and lift your right foot up a couple inches, exhale the leg out to the side, inhale up onto a diagonal, and exhale, hover, that's one, out to the side, inhale, come up, we'll do nine, exhaling, This is our fourth. Use your breath. Take it out of your quad. It goes into your hip flexor as you get them stronger. Breathe. This is six. Seven. Eight. Last one. Here we go. And relax. I don't know if I ever shared this or not, but the, the veterans that I teach, and they're all different ages, they do this every week in class, and they send me text messages to let me know that they've done, done it or they haven't done it, which is really pretty cool. Breathe in, lift your left foot up a couple inches, exhale it out to the side, inhale, come up on the diagonal. So remember that your heel is like the pen, you're making a triangle. Exhale, hover, don't let the foot hit the ground. Out to the side. Inhale, come up, keeping your toes pointing upward, not out to the side either. Exhale, out, inhale. This is our fourth one. Fifth. Here we go, yay. Two more. Last one, you can do it. Awesome. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up to the sky. And just let yourself fold over. Let your head go. So while you're here, make a dedication to people who you have relationships with. There might be somebody you're having a tough time with. It could be personal, it could be work related. And just make a dedication. It could be the same dedication you made for yourself. It always starts with you. And once you have that, breathe and sit up. Sit comfortably, bringing your hands on top of your legs. I invite you to close your eyes. 
just allow one more dedication to come into you. Let that be a dedication that you'd like to make to the world at large right now. Breathe with it. So remembering doing these classes, the core and more, helping to cultivate confidence, resilience, self-awareness, recognizing that you can do versus can't, recognizing that you have the sense of self to speak out versus hiding and being silent. And all this happens on a mat versus somebody telling you that, oh, you know what, come on, you're such a wuss, you should be saying something. It doesn't work that way. This is all organic. Yoga really does bring you and peel away the layers of the onions to yourself. It always starts with the breath. It always has. Breathe in, hands together in front of your heart. I thank you so much for joining, and this will be going up on IGTV and also onto our YouTube channel. Everybody have a, a wonderful day, and enjoy celebrating International Day of Yoga. There's an awful lot of different events going on. Okay, take care. Bye.